Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a video I've been promising you guys for over a year and I am finally getting it done. It is my official updated home tour. Like many people at the start of 2020 during the pandemic, I was like, I'm gonna redo everything in my home. Now when I moved in my home, moved in my home, I did like it a lot. I liked how it was styled a lot, but I will say my style has changed so, so much. I think my home overall was very glamorous. I don't know, I just feel like as I grew with the home, I enjoy more of a natural, homey, warm vibe to it. I still like things to be very minimal and clean. My style changed so much and I have had the best time. I redid my home myself. I didn't hire a designer. It was a project I wanted to take on myself. I'm not uh, like the best home designer, but that really wasn't the point for me. The point was it was like a project that I wanted to do because I genuinely enjoy home design and home decor. And I knew it was gonna be a big job. It turned out to be way bigger of a job than I ever anticipated, but I will say I'm happy with the outcome. I think that homes are such personal places. Everybody's style is a little different. So if you don't like my style or how I decorate it, or maybe you love it, that is, you know, to each their own, because I feel like your home and your space should be like your little sanctuary. And we build out and decorate and style our spaces as to what pleases us and makes us happy. So um, I'll talk a lot about like why I have certain things a certain way and they just bring me joy. I will tell you, I get a ridiculous amount of joy out of the way things are styled. Just like the little details bring me like a crazy amount of joy. So for my home, everything has a specific place for a specific reason and because it brings me comfort and peace. And I think it should be like that in everyone's home, whether it's your bedroom or your bathroom or just your space. It doesn't really matter what other people think of it. You know, maybe you like a lot of things. Maybe you like a really glamorous or maybe you like something really colorful in your home. That's okay. Um, I think all of our spaces should be what brings us peace and comfort because our homes are the spot that we probably spend most of our time. I know my home is this place that I spend all of my time. So I did change out so much from what my home looked like before. It looks like a totally different house. So I have a lot to show you. But with that being said, I think we're finally gonna jump right in. Be sure and subscribe, and if you're interested in anything that I purchased online, I will link it down below. I'll break it down room for room. Let's jump right in. Welcome to the first space of my home, and this is the entryway, and I'm probably echoing pretty badly, but that's okay, we're gonna work through it, and we're gonna talk about this space in my home, which I really love. I love all the spaces. Normally I do have a bowl here to put keys in, but I took it away for the video, but we have a fiddle fay that is in recovery over here. She is very delicate and she's working on a comeback. Then over here we have two console tables. This walkway was so long, so we did two console tables pushed together. This is from Restoration, and then the vase and the wooden piece is from a antique store here in Los Angeles, and the books are from, I think they're from Restoration. And then I have some baskets with a blanket from McGee & Co. So I originally wanted one big mirror, and I still might change that, I don't know. I'll let you guys know any changes I'm gonna make throughout the home tour, just so we can all stay in the loop together and I can update you guys on IG story. Cause there are a couple tweaks I wanna do, but I was like, if I don't film this video, I'll never film it. Like, I have to film it now, so. But I have two large mirror from mirrors from Pottery Barn. They're bomb. You guys may have seen me posing some selfies in them. Um, I love them, but I might change it out for one big mirror eventually. Welcome to my living room, guys. This is a room we actually don't use as much as we use the other space, which I'll show you in just a second. Which we call our Family, family room. room. We call this the living room, this family room. You're living in there, your family men in there, <laughs> and the kitchen's in that room. That would be why. Here, um, I wanted something, I could get a little fancier in here because we don't use this room as much, so it didn't need to be as 
usable friendly. Um, this couch though is from Restoration and it is so comfortable. I'm obsessed with it. I'll link it down below. But oh my gosh, guys, it's actually way more user friendly than my couch I have in my family room. Um, so the couch turned out great and then the pillows I picked up at Restoration. I might change these out for something a little more fun than what I have here and you see somewhere else. Okay, so my biggest tip I would have for people who want to start redecorating or decorating a room is always start with your biggest pieces first. So I wouldn't start with a rug or like a vase. I would definitely start with your main core furniture, like a couch and the coffee table. Because what tends to happen is if you have all your small pieces and bring in the big pieces, if the big pieces don't match your like rug that you got, you probably have to switch out the cheaper item, which would be the rug. So just like any, start with the things that cost the most and then make things work around that. So that's what I did in here, kinda. <laughs> No, actually it's not what I did in here. I started with the rug, but luckily it worked out and I still love this rug. It is from Crate and Barrel. I've had it for a long time and it is so great for heavy traffic because this pattern on here, you cannot see dirt. So I love that. Coffee tables from Restoration. It matches the dining table. So it's the base on it. And then I do probably once a week, add fresh greenery to this pot. Now inside I have a purple cup <laughs> that you cannot see, but it holds the water for my greenery so you don't have to fill up the whole entire vase. And then I just have some other decor items. Um, I have a snake plant. This is where I repotted two snake plants together and they are so big. Like when I put them in here, they're probably like this tall. Look how big they've gotten. I'm proud of my girls over here. Just have a throw blanket on the couch. I like things to look a little unintentional, so I like a messy throw everywhere. <laughs> over here, I just have some vintage pieces. I found this one at, I wanna say McGee and Co. And then this one I found at Big Daddy's here in LA. It is so incredibly heavy stone. The two chairs over here, these are boot play chairs as well. They remind me so much of um a 70s style chair i got them at lulu in georgia and they are so big and you can totally just cozy up on them and they're actually come to a great back support height and they're very bouncy <laughs> so these shelves don't have to be used for anything functional so it's simply decor on these shelves I have some of my favorite home decor books which i've gotten a lot of inspiration out of as well as various versions of vintage vases. I actually have in this book here a pressed roses from my mother's funeral. So this book actually really special in that way. My mom always pressed flowers and like if she'd find a cool leaf she would press it. I think it's like an old school thing she would do but that's why I pressed a rose for her. And then over here it's just more of the same. This is a piece of bleach just driftwood that well it's bleached by the sun but um i found this in santa barbara when me and my friend heather went on a girl's trip so this piece of wood always reminds me of that super fun trip we took and then the rest of the stuff is just decor that i've ordered offline i would say 90 percent of my coffee table books are from amazon so amazon's where it's at for those Okay guys, moving into our dining room space. This space doesn't get used a lot just because a large family doesn't live here. But on occasions, we've had multiple Thanksgivings here and different events where we did use this table. The table is probably the heaviest piece of furniture in this God, house. is it? It is a real wood table. It's absolutely beautiful. It's made of oak wood and the chairs are, it's from Restoration. It is, it goes with my coffee table. And then the chairs are from Lulu and Georgia. They're called the saddle chair. They probably have cat hair in them, honestly, no shame to that, but it has a leather arm, a wooden leg, and then a fabric chair. So you really get a nice mixture of fabrics within the chairs. 
Um, and then over here, I just have another olive pot, which looks so beautiful. Tyler actually hung these rustic shelves that are on the wall. It's actually four shelves. I got them at Wayfair for a great price if you guys are interested. And I just decorated it with a lot of memories because this pot over here is a gift from Aaron. Um, and then these, you? <laughs> I said Ann Tyler. <laughs> And Tyler. <laughs> These branches are actually pieces that I found in the desert. So it just reminds me of all of our fun times in the desert as well as this gorgeous piece of dried wood that was just laying on the ground there. So I love this shelf. I love the way it turned out. It looks so beautiful. It's actually four shelves put together. And then over here, we just have some art. I've talked about this art in a previous video, so I won't rehash that, but we also have a art light above it and a real fiddle fig. She's kind of small, but she's gonna get there one day. And just a jar over there from Restoration. And I believe the rug is from Restoration as well. In the center of the table here, I have a low bowl. This is from a pot store. They have a basket weaved a pendant light. However, I might change this out to something a little more modern, but I still love the vibe of it in here, so I'm not quite ready for that change just yet. So over here, I have this little nook, and I just decided to decorate it because we don't use it for anything, but I did want a mirror here because, girl, check myself. <laughs> so this is a rounded mirror. The table, oh, the mirror's from Wayfair, I think. Could be from Pottery Barn, I can't remember. But the vase is from Pottery Barn, Restoration. Table's from Restoration. I believe this is from McGee & Co, Amazon, Anthropology. Just kind of a cute little setup. And this is my second and only faux plant in the house. It's pretty cute. This is a dark area, so I feel like it's acceptable in dark areas because you can't see them that well. <laughs> Welcome to my powder room. Aaron's filming now, so things are gonna get crazy. <laughs> you can't but trust me. This room gets really dark. It's kind of a mood in here, isn't it? I love the dark This vibe. is one of oh, my favorite rooms. Pink floor. Oh, Pete, the camera. You guys. Oh, okay, watch with this light. It Ooh, makes it very it's so yellow moody. warm tone. Like you feel like you're in like a club bathroom in LA. Not really, but kind of. Like a very <laughs> not really. But like a very homey. Like I if get it, it was someone's home club. It's but a home club. It just sets this like deep, nice tone in the room. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. Um so the wallpaper is from Anthro. I believe I had this done in my last home tour. I only have to change out the silver hardware and the sink I haven't gotten to yet. It's not terrible in here because it kind of goes with the vibe of like the other things a little bit, but here's me. Um, okay, and then we have over here some fresh greenery. I like to buy bouquets of flowers, completely take them all apart, pick out my pieces, and then separate the greenery for around the house. So for instance, the bouquet, I took out all of this. It looks like, I don't know what this is. It looks like a baby's breath, but it's so dainty and beautiful. And then we have some diptyque soap here in our diptyque stand. This bar of soap smells so divine that just it's sitting in here, smells the whole bathroom like it. And then over here, we just have a candle lit on a wooden pedestal. We have this Le Lovato scent. Under here, I have all of our pool towels. So these baskets are from West Elm. They have bomb baskets there, but I need it like really sleek, low, wide rectangular baskets. I can't remember where I got the pool towels from. I'll try to link them down below and look up my order in the email. But I have a bunch of them lined up and they are full of these Lux Stripe Pool Towers. They're the best. We have toilet paper in here. We have sunscreen. And this is this bathroom. It's so bomb. I love how high the ceilings are. And I think the mirror is from, I wanna say Pottery Barn. I can't remember. But I remember I got this mirror, it cost a lot. And then I got that mirror that looks identical and it was like a couple, like a hundred bucks. I don't know. Welcome to my office. Oh, sun's out. <laughs> Welcome to my office. 
this. So we did redo this room on camera, but I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough with it. It is an office that my whole family uses, not just me, so I didn't want to make it too feminine. But yeah, this is pretty much it. It's warm, it's cozy. We did a faux um, burlap wallpaper from Lulu and Georgia. I have minimal decor up here. The fireplace is dual, so I love that because the fireplace, turn, when it turns on, it's on in the other living room as well as in here. So it gets really cozy in here, especially in like the fall and winter months. If you're in here at night, ugh, it's like so dreamy. I have a fiddle fig here and some snake plants by the window. I repotted both of these fiddle figs, two into one plant, and they have been doing so fabulous in here. And then I have a snake plant down there that I've had just for such a long time. Um, this room is has a lot of bolche neutral vibes to it, but I love the simplicity of it. Um, the desk is from Restoration. It is a simple real wood desk if you try to move this bad boy bad boy you can't because it is so heavy and luxe i love this desk it's really great quality um and then i have the lamp from restoration and two coffee table books now in here i did end up putting a faux plant i prefer real plants but you can't always keep those alive this room doesn't get the most lighting it does get a lot of lighting from over there by the door but that's why i have my fiddle figs over there and then yeah this is where i sit this chair is from west elm i love it it does swing back a little bit and i do a lot of my emails in here and you know all the business and then if you turn around over there, we have the mantle with a big mirror. We also have a little bit of a dried plant. This is from the desert. It is real dried plant. It is not faux and it's so delicate and beautiful. I love it. I also love the black detailings in here. Um, and then these are the boucle chairs. These chairs are from, I wanna say Crate and Barrel. It took a really long time to come in. I remember they took so long to come in. Um, but they're here and I love them. They're great. We also have an extra file cabinet for any business or personal files that need to go in here. And then also in here, it comes with a ton of storage. So we have storage, storage, storage. I've said it before, but I keep the launches for Larley Los Angeles new Patuti stuff in here. And over here we have a printer and a shredder. I like that they are able to be tucked away in here so it keeps everything looking nice and clean, but yet still a functional room. I also have a little metal stand here it's from Anthropology with a little bit of coffee. That's not for me. Just a little coffee cup there, styled as well as a throw blanket. It wouldn't be a Larley room without a throw blanket, but overall, this room gives me clean, neutral vibes, and I love it. These two pictures are from Lulu in Georgia, and I think they look beautiful. It is a quilted wool on there, and yeah, they're very simple and not too masculine, not too feminine, just right in the middle. I really love the calmness, the vibe in here. It's very mature. And I like to get a lot of work done in here without distraction. Also, the light that comes in from the store is immaculate. Like, it is stunning. Guess what? Look how green and beautiful this fiddle fig is. It was doing bad, but I repotted it myself. And I repotted it with this little guy over here. And we have seen a bit of new growth. So, I'm pretty excited about that. And then I got my Miss Snake plant down there getting her sunlight. That little basket down there is our trash basket just because mostly papers go in it. So guys, this is my kitchen. Welcome. This is the room we spend all of our time in. So in here, this big massive island that I love so much. It's normally cluttered with pizza boxes and food and purses and cell phones and just anything, notebooks, computers. Obviously I cleaned it off for today, but it is like our most used piece in the home. So I try not to keep too much on the island as far as decor, so it's more usable, but we pretty much just have a candle over here as well as just some cookbooks and a vase. So over here I just have my fruit bowl. It's from Pottery Barn. It's not meant for fruit, so I keep a paper towel down in it. And I just have some lemons and some oranges in here. And then over here I have my smack toaster. 
It is the best toaster I've ever owned. It's the bomb. We changed out the hardware to matte black so it matched the rest of the kitchen. And then we just have a farmhouse sink, which I do love the sink so much. And it never stains, regardless that it's white. Next over here, I just, I keep a wooden pedestal because if you have real stone or real marble, it will leave marks. So if water were to get around the base of these soaps, then it will leave a ring on the marble. So I try to keep things like that up on a pedestal to save the marble. It's so high maintenance guys over here I just have some flour and sugar jars as well as some cookbooks I want to show you guys my favorite glasses ever I bought these from crate and barrel I bought them the big and small size and I adore these so much these are the nicest glasses ever I love how thick the glass is because I feel like they're not gonna break whenever I move them around and I also love the design it's very trendy right now it kind of reminds me of the 70s now I did buy these from Crate and Barrel and they're the worst glasses. They are so thin that I literally like in the first week of having them broke half of them because if they like tapped or touched anything, they chipped and broke. So I'll never buy these again, but these actually are like one of my best purchases. I also love the size of them. So over here, this is an idea I got from my friend Karen. Um, to put a couple of my most used spices, olive oils right here. This is some Himalayan salt in here, some pepper, and then some seasonings back here. And this, again, it keeps it off of the marble from staining, especially the olive oil. And then over here, we just have a couple different cooking items and I have staged some cutting boards. We love staged cutting boards. So over here is our kitchen nook, and we mostly use the island. By the way, these are our wishbone uh, bar stools. Everyone told me my cats would destroy these, but actually they don't care. They, they, they sleep, sleep on it. them, but they don't tear them up. Um, these, I'll link them down below. I always get a lot of questions about these. They're really comfy and we normally eat over there. But over here is the nook and believe it or not we do a lot of our computer work over here so this area is normally ty's laptop my laptop and then we do a lot of editing and things like that over here the tables from restoration um and then the chairs are from restoration and then i can't remember where this artwork is over here i have this huge piece of artwork and that I will try to link if I remember. I love that it's abstract and that the colors and tones really warm up the space. This light pendant I got from a small business in Georgia. They hand make these iron, really chic um, light pendants. And it also has leather detailing on it. You'll have to get closer to it to kind of see the leather detailing, but I just love the unique shape. And I think it's such a cool, chic piece for this space. This is my main family room where we spend all of our time. We have, I like to sleep on the couch sometimes. Aaron loves, I mean, this, that uncomfortable couch. <laughs> but this room is so bomb. The rug is from Restoration. I love it because no matter how much we walk on it, it doesn't really show dirt. And then the couch is from... I can't remember. It was a small company in Texas that made it. I don't love the couch, but I talked about that in another video. Aesthetic purpose. It's wonderful. Comfort. Not the best. One out of ten. Pillows are from Restoration. And then I have this coffee table from CB2. It is a stone table. It's very heavy. And you might be saying, how do you have a white coffee table in here? But actually, this table here is actually put Clorox and bleach it. So any kind of stain mm -hmm. we get on it. We can totally clean it versus a wood one, which I almost put in here, but you can literally not even use a coaster and it just wipes right up. So this coffee table can take a lot of really strong stains and it always comes out. So it's actually the perfect coffee table for a room that you're using a lot. In here, I always have fresh greenery. The vase is from the Pompous People. And then I just have a couple different decor items. I normally have a candle sitting here and I light it with this piece of wood. I have a blanket basket or a cat bed, if you will. <laughs> and then we just have different vases in the um, cabinetry over here. Oh, hey different guys. decor and vases that I have staged and yeah. 
Oh. Hey, it looks pretty good. No, no, you're not getting in the shot. <laughs> and then over here is just a little bit more decor. Again, dried plant from the desert. And then you have just different vases and items that I have put together. So for my bedroom, I have a very neutral soft tone to it, but yeah, it's very warm with a lot of the details that I added and changed in the room. Um, everything essentially changed. We also added these absolutely gorgeous drapes here, and then we did blackout drapes, of course, for her sleeping purposes. 411 Studio did these as well, so once upstairs. And then we had kind of a more natural shading added underneath to give it some warmth. And then we did a metal rod pulling for the curtain rod, which gives it a chic touch that's not so boho-y. One of the only things I'm for sure gonna change in this room is the chandelier. I think it's really beautiful, it's from CB2, but going into a little bit more of a modern style. So I am looking for something that is going to match our curtain rods. So I'm gonna do something black and chic, kind of like my pendant light over my kitchen table. So the bedding here is from Parachute. This is the best bedding I've ever had in my life. I hate duvet covers because they are such a hassle to wash, to deal with, and I get too hot under them because they become too thick. So this bedding here is from Parachute Home. They make pillowed quilts. So I was looking for new bedding that wasn't a duvet, but I don't really like quilts because I've had them before. They're a little too heavy and too hard, but they came out with the pillowed quilt and I was just like, what is that exactly? So I ordered one, I originally ordered this tan one here. I have two of them layered. I'm so obsessed, I literally have two. This one's reversible. You can do a light side, a dark side. So I have it folded to where it looks like I have three layers, but really it's two comforters. Ty, how amazing are these blankets or comforters? They are so comfortable. They They're, put me to sleep. Well, I've had it for, I wanna say almost two years now, this one and I sleep with it every night still. It's my absolute favorite. You can just throw them in the wash. I'll be sure and link them down below for you guys. And then this is from the Casa Luna line at Target. I have two of these. I showed you guys the other one downstairs. This is also my favorite blanket to just throw over me if I'm sitting in bed just watching TV and I don't wanna get under the covers. So one of my favorite things to do now that I've changed up is I no longer would buy a bedroom suit. I more so like pieces that do not match. And then they, they all come together to make a very beautiful bedroom look. I went with a lighter wooded bedroom side table. These are from Pottery Barn. I love the black matte handle detailing. And then as far as the lamps, I tried out four different lamps in here and this is what really worked in here because it filled this beautiful space with allowing the drapery to be seen through and then you have this gorgeous black texture which you also have that matches the handle so it was just like whenever these came in and I put them there I was like this is it so what I wanted to do is create an actual space where you can turn the fireplace on I read a lot so I wanted a space to read and I also watch tv a lot so also a place to watch TV. So I got these boucle chairs from, or bolche, whatever you want to call it, from CB2. Now these are probably the number one question I get asked, like where are those chairs from? They freaking swivel. And you could just swivel in it all day. That's my favorite thing about them is the swivel. As far as the rug in here, it is from Lulu and Georgia. It is a cream color, not so much ivory, so it's okay. But most of the foot traffic goes on the hardwood, not the rug, so it doesn't catch. We've actually had it in here for almost a year. We haven't had to clean it once. Like it, it really doesn't um, stain. And we also, of course, have a rug mat underneath it for extra cushioning. But over here on the table, I have very minimal decor because I like to set my drink here or just like put my stuff here. So I didn't want too much like decor. So I just have a couple coffee tables books this stone bowl is so amazing i got it at an antique store here in la and it is 25 pounds i picked it up and i tried to carry it and i was like oh my gosh it is so heavy so i, I put it on my scale because i was like how heavy is this 25 pounds i just have a throw blanket there because i feel like it really ties in the warmth the warmth the warmth the warmth it just all comes together with that throw blanket and then we have a lovely fiddle fig right here in a planter pot. She is lush, she is living. 
I did get a comment about my books being turned backwards and some people said this gives me anxiety. I don't like the brim of the book. So everybody's different in their homes. So over here is supposed to be like a mini office, like a book reading situation. However, this is not where we work or read books. I do store all of my books in here. And then these are really just books for decor. There's a couple books in here I've read, but mostly it's for decor, like having on display, but the real good stuff is in the cabinets that I love to read or have read. so much detail in here I feel like it'd be hard to explain in one video I've changed a lot in here um, I ended up keeping my island I did replace the glass on it one of my favorite things in here is this beautiful antique piece I got at an antique store it has these rustic metal legs on it and I always put fresh greenery in it I have a glass jar down in here holding the water these are all fresh flowers that I do change out in here and even some of these olive branches I, I like put this together and built this arrangement which is like kind of like a hobby of mine like I genuinely enjoy doing it I have a lot of perfume trays over here this wooden one is from Lulu in Georgia and I just have a couple of my favorite scents as well as a little candle burning. You're gonna see a candle everywhere you go in my closet. This candle is in here from Louis Vuitton. Me and Ty got it as a gift for ourselves and we never burned it. And then this is one of my favorite fragrances as well as all of these guys in here. This is one of my dailies, love that. So I just kind of keep these front and center to grab. It's this arrangement, I'm obsessed. I have all the beautiful dresses, long gowns stored. And then over here, another perfume tray where I keep some of my favorite fragrances. This is a room spray. I talked about this in a video. Just have more decor happening there. These are two of my favorite candles I like to keep in here. I do have a cozy nook here where I just keep a blanket and some pillows, but this area is meant for putting on your shoes couple books here. This is another one of my favorite scents. I have all my favorite scents on display so I can just easily walk up and use them. And then over here, I just have it styled with some pompous and some really beautiful vases. And then a couple of my favorite body lotions are here. Also the chandelier. I can't remember where I got it. I'll have to do some research to remember, but I love how girly it is. It has like a feminine touch to it. The only person that likes my balcony more than me is that little kitty sleeping right there. That's why all the blankets are going on. Yoshi and Peach will sleep up here all day. They love it. Next up is my bathroom. So I do plan on pretty much remodeling my bathroom, but I will show you how I have it set up. So this is my bathroom. We're about to get real echoey, so I apologize for the noise. You guys know how bathrooms shoot. They're so echoey. Okay, so in here, it's pretty simple. You know I have a plant. I have a plant in every room. So in here, I really want to replace this ottoman. I've had it forever, um, but I have this ottoman in here. And then I got this bath towel that is from Amber Interiors, and it is a bath blanket. So I keep it in here along with this tray from Target with some extra hand towels. And then this is to set a candle, but I like to use it as a coaster because we don't want to leave rings on stuff. And I have my little bathroom stuff over here. I normally have a couple more items, but I cleaned it up for the home tour. This holds incense if you want to, but I also use it to hold my scoop as well as bars of soap. Here I just have a little extra magnifying mirror as well as a trinket holder for my jewelry that I got at Goodies LA. Now the lighting in here, I'm obsessed. These are from Restoration. They're quite large. I'll turn them on for you so you can see the vibe. They warm it up and when it's nighttime and these are on, cozy lighting ever, I'm obsessed. We changed out the two small mirrors for one big mirror, which really widened the room. Of course, I had to add a pop of greenery. I just pulled this out of a bouquet and thought that this rich green color would be perfect against the wood in the bathroom. Down here is where I use storage for my extra bath products. These baskets are so cute. They're from West Elm. Chandelier, I don't like it. I wish it wasn't here, but I'm waiting on it because we're gonna redo the bathroom so I'm not gonna take it down. We also have the shower here. It is a large shower which I do enjoy but I will tell you 
One of my favorite things is the eucalyptus. I recommend putting this in your shower if you have it. It can be a stress reliever, the scent that comes off of it once the shower steams up. Whenever it starts to dry out in my bouquets, I just pull the pieces and then I just keep adding it in. We do have his and her bathrooms and I'm gonna show you my favorite thing in my bathroom is my squatty potty. We're gonna head back out. Hello. Just waiting on you at every turn. <laughs> You want to talk about this room? Um, you know, it's a room that it's his we main got cave. some things for. Yes, no. he wants to switch it up in here a little bit. Yeah, I want to have like... I, I saw these two at an antique store. I saw these two black leather chairs and I'm dying to get them in here. Yes, they were kind of pricey, so I'm waiting on them. because I'm like, good mm. with the couch as well. Yeah, we love so. this couch. This couch really worked out well. Yeah, this is the man cave. Um, I kind of just chill in here, play my game. So the way I'm like setting right now, like setting here, looking at the TV just breaks my neck. So I'm probably gonna get like some sort of desk or something like that to put in here where I can game and maybe make this area chill. So yeah. I yeah. did add a live plant in here. She did. I went with this plant that needs really no care, no love, or no lighting. What are you trying to say? I even talked to the guy at the plant store. I was like, what plant could survive on its own besides a snake plant? Because I have a lot of are those. Are you saying I can't take care of plants? No, it's this room's dark. <laughs> it is a dark room. So this one is just perfect. It adds like a richness to the space. hallway and the only thing that's missing from this is I kind of want to do a large runner rug that goes all the way through so I'm still in the market for like the perfect one I did have a tree right here but honestly it still didn't get enough sunlight so it died so I'm not gonna put another tree in here and I'll also change out these sconces because they don't give me enough drama like this wall is so big it can handle so much drama, and this just doesn't give me the drama. So these two, I actually pushed two console tables together. I like the bleached sandwood look. I believe these are both from Pottery Barn. And then I just stacked some Amazon books as well as this antique bowl. And then this massive piece of art. I love how dark it is. It gives depth, depth to the space. It's from Crate and Barrel, and it came framed. So I will tell you this, if you're looking for art, like, you don't want to spend a fortune because art gets into like thousands and thousands of dollars, but you want a big piece of beautiful art. Crate and Barrel has good pieces and they're amazing quality. Next, I have my large dip tea candle here. It is so just everything. It smells so good. It'll smell the whole house. And I just have a vase as well as a stool with a throw blanket on it. Over here, I got this lamp from Anthropology. I actually bought two of them. I was so obsessed and I love the linen oatmeal shade on it. And then down here, we have an antique stool, which is just so beautiful. As far as over here, we have Aaron's room in the guest bedroom. I did separate videos on those rooms. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link both of them down below. But I will tell you, I'm going to have my friend Daniel Prada come and help me zhuzh up Aaron's room a little bit. So we'll film that. And then my spare bedroom is super boho. I love the way it came out, but I think I'm going to end up tweaking it again to be just like a touch more modern, a little less boho. So I'll keep you updated on that. But again, those videos will be linked down below if you guys want to check out the full transformation of both of these rooms. Now I'm gonna head outside and show you guys some of our backyard. Welcome to my backyard. This is where we spend majority of our time. We have this absolutely stunning, oversized, relaxing swing. This swing was actually handmade by Karen's dad and they gifted it to me. I cannot thank them enough because I don't know if they know, but I sit on this swing almost every single day and so does my cat Peach. It's her favorite swing in the world. On it, I just have some bedding from Target. This is a twin size comforter and some throw pillows that I got at Target. These I got at CB2 on clearance, pretty cheap. And then over here, we have a fire pit situation. Now this fire pit is old and it kind of doesn't go with the vibe anymore. So I am going, I have one ordered. It was promised to me like three times and now they're saying, it's coming in like 
February next year. Um, these chairs are from Wayfair. They were super cheap. They do need to be a little bit restained. If you guys, if you buy teak, it literally, it doesn't matter like what teak you buy. It just, if it gets wet, it gets a mark. And then I have a couch that matches over here and it's also from Wayfair. And the pillows are from Target. He's literally like this. <laughs> We have it turned normally. That way it um, can bend backwards towards the sun to correct itself. It is big oversized deluxe pot. It's from Restoration and it is the bomb. Hi, booty. Hey guys, we have a little lounge area here by the pool. This is some bar, it's actually called barbecue rosemary. Um, we've grown her pretty thick. And then this is just traditional rosemary that we have here. You, you can actually cook with it. If you walk past it, it smells divine. I planted this so long ago whenever it was very tiny and look at how much it's grown. It looks absolutely beautiful draping this pot. These are two lounge chairs from Restoration. The cushions are so thick on them, you could literally fall asleep. They do lounge all the way back. And here on the end, I just have some linen towels from Lulu and Georgia. The little plant I have here, it used to be indoor and I just didn't have anywhere to put it. So I put it there and she's thriving. And then the white umbrella is from Serene and Lily. Over here we have the grill and Peach staring at my phone like it's gonna attack her Peach. And then we have a set of olive pots as well as this succulent that I've been growing for a really long time. I planted it when it was about that tall. And look how lush it's got, gorgeous. We also have these pots from I want to say West Elm um, I've had them for a long time and they still kind of go with the vibe so we just planted this yucca in it and then here we just have another big pot I found at a pot store in LA and had it delivered it's so heavy it took me Aaron and Tyler putting it on a skateboard and skateboarding the pot through my house to get it placed here so it's here for life I can never move this thing again it was haunting what accompanies it is the lemon citrus tree. So this grows three different types of lemons and an orange. It's called a fruit cocktail tree. And it's pretty bomb. It's getting, it's getting ready. Right. She's getting ready to explode. Look at all the girls down here. Gorgeous. And then we have some iceberg roses that have not bloomed yet over there. Alright guys, that is it for my home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the updated home tour. I'm sorry it took me so long to film it, but it's finally done. If you guys want more home content, please let me know and be sure and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.